Hi there, I'm, I'm Adam. We're at the Sculpture Castings Foundry in Basingstoke. Uh, I'm going to talk you through the moulding and investment process, uh, casting process and then patination process uh, for creating a bronze. Um, our artists will bring us a pattern as such, uh, be delivered to us and outsourced to a, a moulder. Uh, they will then make a jesmonite or plaster mould depending on what best suits the job, the shape, the form, um, various approaches. Um, just take you over here to the mould. Um, from the uh, moulding process, we then end up with, this is a jesmonite case, it's a really hard solid case, stops any movement. Uh, inside this is a uh, silicon rubber. Um, these here are called keys, just to make sure nothing moves in the process. Um, here you've got amazing detail that the silicon will pick up. You can pick up fingerprints, um, any texture that an artist will put into a job, really nicely picked up. Uh, with this, we will um, put a really, really hot swill of wax um, across the surface, again, picking up all the detail. Um, really um, important process is the detail obviously because we want to replicate exactly what our clients bring to us. Um, two halves of the mould, once the, um, the mould has been swilled the two halves will be put together. From that we'll then do a, a final swill, Sorry. final swill um, and we'll have a, a solid object, so not solid but um, like a, a complete object uh, with a thickness that is suitable for casting. You see here you're looking for four or five millimetre thickness and this will be the actual thickness that the metal um, should be. Um, you'll see here that when it comes out of the mould you've got a seam line. Uh, as a wax moulder our jobs will be uh, to take this seam line out and you'll see here some of it's already done and you're trying to put back in the artist's detail, the artist's surface texture as best you can um, so that when this is cast it looks like it's a seamless object. Um, from this stage here, when this is all completely finished, depending on the size of the object, we might chop it into a couple of pieces just to make it more manageable. Now, these pieces would be reassembled later on in the process. Um, so from this point on, we'd put a series of runners and risers onto the job. These are sort of uh, wax tubes that go onto the, uh, onto the job, which would then later be dipped in a ceramic shell, which I can show you over here. Um, that ceramic shell is really, really good at taking the heat and the weight of the metal when it's completely solid. Um, what we do is, the, if you can imagine, the wax object is encased in the ceramic shell. It then goes into, um, these are the shells over here. It then goes into a really, really hot furnace, uh, sorry, hot sort of wax, the wax box, which will melt, make all the wax melt away. So here you'll see a ceramic shell. Uh, with no wax left inside it. That's basically been put into that really hot box. All the wax has run away. Anything that was solid then becomes a negative, a hole. So basically here, we've got all the holes, space where the wax was. And then from here we go over to the furnace. Now this thing, we cast bronze at about 1100 degrees. This is seriously hot. The bronze comes out as a molten metal, gets poured from our crucible into your ceramic shell, fills up uh, any air gets sort of let out by these uh, runners and risers here, left to cool, and once it's cooled we've then got a solid bronze casting, you might see one over here. This ceramic shell is smashed off, and you're left with your raw form of bronze casting, so your shape that the, uh, the metal workers are then going to take over and work with. Um, the uh, uh, runners and risers are cut off. We've got a sandblaster here, can blast all the remaining sort of debris off. I'll take you over to the, um, the uh, metal workers now. In the industry, anyone that works on a bronze is known as a chaser. That's um, the metal workers themselves. Uh, they'll use a variety of grinders, air tools, uh, sanding, files, anything like that, just to um, put the surface detail back into the metal work. You see here there's a, a bronze under press, uh, underway. Um, at this stage, although you can't feel it, you might be able to see a, a weld line here. These are the parts that have been put together on the job uh, just to make the form complete. Um, these guys have got a lot of experience. I think we pride ourselves in, um, in sort of creating really high quality craftsmanship, as it were. It's an artisan job, it's an artisan process. 
each piece is always individual. Um, so yes, look, it's everything's a different shape, size. Um, it's a really great job to have in terms of sort of like always something different coming through the door. It's always great to have exciting new projects come through the door, like this one over here. Final stage, once the metal's finished, it comes over, I'm actually the patinator, the patination process is the colouring of bronze. You get some weird and wonderful colours. Traditionally, you've probably seen a bronze in the sort of old penny, antique penny sort of colour, traditional bronze. And it's all a hot process, so you'll get a flame torch like this one over here. Heat the surface of the metal. And it's very important that it uh, comes across that it's not a painted process, it's a chemical reaction on the surface of the metal. So we're applying chemicals to change the colour uh, and create an artistic effect on the surface of the metal.